Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Rogue access point and evil twin are two different types of wireless threats. Rogue access point poses a threat to a private network, and evil twin's victims are mostly end users like you and me using free public Wi-Fi. Before I talk about rogue access point, let's look at these pictures. This cartoon shows how the oil pipeline is tapped into, and tons of oil were stolen. Stealing from the pipeline is billion-dollar business globally. In 2014, in Mexico alone, more than 2,000 illegal valves were placed on its oil pipelines. Look at another example. Tap water is controlled by a faucet in kitchen or in a bathroom. Suppose a hose is plugged into the main water pipe behind the faucet. Water would flow freely, and the faucet will not control water anymore. Rogue access point is similar to tap water leaking or stealing oil from. Main supply pipeline. Rogue access point is plugged in the network without authorization. A rogue access point may be installed by the naive user, or it could be deliberately installed for testing or some other reasons by internal IT personnel, or by outsiders. For evil purposes. In any case, a rogue access point poses a serious security threat. One, it provides a wireless backdoor into the network for outsiders. Two, it bypasses the network firewalls and other security devices, and opens the network to attacks. Evil twin. If rogue access point is a serious security threat to a private network, an evil twin is a serious security threat to end users like you and me. An evil twin is rogue wireless access point that poses as legitimate Wi-Fi access point. An attacker can easily create an evil twin with a computer, smartphone, or other internet-capable device. Evil twin software is easily available from the internet. The attacker positions himself in the vicinity of legitimate good twin and lets his device discover what SSID or network name. And radio frequency, the legitimate access point uses. After having got all information, the attacker then sends out his own radio signal using the same name as legitimate access point. To end users, the evil twin looks just like a legitimate hotspot with a very strong signal. That's because the attacker has physically positioned himself near end users, so that his signal is likely to be strongest. To end users, only one hotspot with a stronger signal shows. In this example, the evil twin hotspot will pose as Starbucks free Wi-Fi. The evil twin can be configured to pass the internet traffic through the legitimate access point while monitoring the victim. The evil twin can be also a hotspot through which victims go to the internet. Either way, victims' traffic would be monitored and recorded by the evil twin. To avoid hacking and stealing from 
evil twin. We should only use public Wi-Fi for web browsing and refrain from online shopping or banking. I hope this video is helpful and thank you very much and see you next time.